Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this course certification in quantity survey and let us calculate the quantity of the reinforcement now. So let's start with the calculation of the quantity for the reinforcements in case of the two-way slab. First of all, what is the size of the slab? Key one is 8500 into 6500 into 150 mm. That's the length into breadth into height. Then the beam size it is supporting on both the sides it is 23 0 into 500, 0, 500 mm. Then main bars along the short span they are 12 mm dia in a 150 center to center distribution are 12 mm 150 center to center. The top extra bars are provided for the better anchorage and the supports at the edges of the slab that is a 10 mm dia 100 center to center. Then the development length is a 40 d. And the clear cover for the slab is um, 25 mm and the clear cover for beam is given to be 40 mm. So now let us understand the drawing that has been given. In case of the one way slab, the slab was supporting on the two beams only on the uh, longer side. Uh, over here we have the four beams on all, all the sides. And uh, uh, whatever the development length, uh, whatever the extra bar they are provided, they are provided at L by 4 distances now on both, for both the sides. Then we have this uh, main bars at 12mm 150 center to center and uh, uh, distribution bar to be 12mm center to center. Now the main bars and distribution bars both of them are having the same uh, shape. This is also main bar as they are given only 145 degree bend over here. Then uh, what we are expected to calculate is uh, uh, number of main bars then their uh, cutting length of main bars then cutting length of distribution and uh, number then the cutting length and the number for the top extra bars ultimately we are going to, going to calculate the total weight of the steel itself so now let us start with the length of the main bars as i already told you main bars are the vertical ones that we have considered so to calculate their length we need to have the clear span okay the clear span between these two uh, the, uh, sorry we are calculating the length so we need to have the length from this to this then um, 2 into development length on the either side over here and over here length development lengths plus 145 1 into 42 h as there is only one bend is given minus 2 into 45 degree bend so this one bend and this one bend these two bends uh, we are going to deduct we'll just put the values as we have already discussed calculation of h so how we are going to calculate the h h is the center to center distance between this and this if if I want to show over here, if I want to show vertically, so H is this distance as we already have discussed. So H, how am I going to calculate that from the total slab depth? I need to minus twice the cover and one time the bar diameter. So that value we have calculated. That is value coming to be 88 mm. Then uh, development length is a 40 d. That's given. D is a dia. That is a 12. And two times development length, one here and one on the this side. So the value has been put and whatever the, uh, the calculations are coming with the 7.473 uh, into the meter. This is the length of the bar is coming. Now we are calculating the number of main bars. To calculate the number of main bars we need to have the length divided by spacing plus 1. And the length is given they are serving the you know, longer dimension. So 8500 divided by spacing plus 1. The value is coming to be 58. So now there is no difference is going to be there to calculate the length of the distribution bar. Only thing will be the distance as we had over here the 6500 will change to 8500 as they are serving to the you know uh, shorter span. So this uh, the number of for number will use a shorter span 6500 and for the length will use a longer span that is 8500. Only this is the difference with the help of that we are going to put all the values. So again if I want to repeat the same thing. Clear span plus 2 into development length plus 1 into 0.42h minus bends. So same everything value only the clear span for that other uh, that is the main bar was 6500 as it was a length serving to the vertical ones. Over here it is serving to the horizontal one. So the distance uh, clear span is 8500. Same the number of for the length of uh, length for number of distribution bars the length will be 6500 as they are serving to that length. So the number of bars are coming to be 45 and the H value is similar as it is not going to be changed in that because the diameter of bars are same. Okay, So we put all those values then 
we need to calculate the length of those top extra bar and the number of those top extra bar to calculate the first of all length of those top extra bar we need to uh, use them uh, as they are the simple uh, you know horizontal and vertical ones so we'll use them you know, for the shorter span that is the short bars we will first calculate that are the vertical ones the distance is 6500 minus 2 times slab cover i need to minus the uh, i uh, from the this one i minus the slab cover from both the sides i got the distance to be 6450 okay and the length they are provided at l by 4 on either side so over here they are provided the l by 4 so length is going to be 8500 this one divided by 4 uh, in, and divided by 100 is the spacing between them plus 1 is our formula we'll just put them together the number of bars are coming to be 23 23 number of bars on one side so we have the two sides over here so we'll use the distance to be 46 into 2 will do the same one uh, for the top extra bar along the long long side the same nothing is going to be changed only the whatever the values that we had over here as a, for the short span we are going to change them to the long span only this is the uh, difference that we are going to have nothing else will change for this both of them and we have calculated the value and this is how the uh, final chart will look alike so this chart is going to give you all the illustration regarding what is the diameter of the bars we had then that what are the lengths we had together number of bars we had then the total length how we are going to do that which is a multiplication of this will give me the total length and the multiplication of this total will give me the total weight into this i'm going to add three percent vestiges for the uh, reinforcement and the total weight is coming to be 1169 kg nearly with the help of this i wish you all the best thank you so much